Hey everyone, Voodoo is officially over! I thought I would show a shot of my room and you can see how messy it's become because all I've been doing is making videos for the past month. My social life is non-existent. All I've been doing is making videos and then coming home and editing them until 2 in the morning. Yes, this is how Vedaf really is. So Vedaf has been massive amounts of work, but even so, I'm sad that it's over. Back in January when I got back from New Zealand, I started to record six videos every weekend. I mean, every weekend, that was, that was two weekends. I did that for two weekends. <laughs> my beginning videos were like a lot more work than my end videos. Around like the middle of the month, I almost ran out of footage and I was like, I just have to make anything. So then that's when I came up with ideas such as like an unrehearsed duet with my roommate. That was really fun, but it was a lot of less time to edit. And then vlogging was another thing. I actually kind of strategically put myself in this situation. I really like to watch other people vlog, but I was kind of too shy to do it myself. And I also thought that my family and friends would think I was weird, which maybe they do. Uh... Hey guys. <laughs> but anyway, like I put myself in this situation partly just so that I would be forced to make vlogs. And I've noticed that it's actually helped me a little bit in real life. I've started to speak louder and also just think about how I'm telling stories to make them more interesting. So that's cool. Doing Vedav at the same time as doing all of my jobs has been kind of tricky. I kind of put Vedav above everything else, so some of those jobs have built up a little bit. Also, like I said, I've had no social life, so I'm planning to have a little party this Friday and my friends are coming to celebrate Vedaf being over. I texted all my friends and was like, do you want to come to my Vedaf is over party? And they were all like, sure. What's Vedaf? <laughs> for the future of this channel, I have a lot of cool ideas for March. My friend Eileen is coming to visit me. Eileen is the one that I wrote the song about in the second Vedaf. And we've turned the song into a little duet, so we're going to be recording that and also one of her songs. And I'll be posting more on my Instagram and my Twitter, so if you want to follow me there, go do that. And send me a message to say hi. I'm also going to be posting more on my Patreon page, so if you want to check that out, there's also a link in the description. So thank you so much to everyone who stuck with me this entire month. Thanks for being awesome, and thanks for making this channel special. Thank you for watching, and happy Vedaf! Bye!